Hello there everyone! This video is a walkthrough of a Blender and Unreal project that I've been working on focusing on the new real-time hair rendering in Unreal 426, as well as wrinkle maps, eye textures and of course facial animation. If you check the description there'll be a link to the Blender files, the textures, Unreal Engine projects and, and more. I might make a full video tutorial on this, but I also just thought it might be more elegant to simply let people tear into it, which is my personal preferred way of learning things. Incidentally, if you do find this sort of thing useful or interesting, my hope is that this will be the first of a series of projects I release in this way, so do consider subscribing to hear about future updates, including my own face tracking tool, which despite some delays, has a new build coming out in the coming weeks, fingers crossed, but there's just been a lot of personal and bio-geopolitical events going on right now, which means things are just going a bit slower than normal. But anyway, for a whistle-stop tour of this project, once you've got it downloaded, open either the ray-traced or non-ray-traced version, depending on your hardware. It's a pretty simple project that I started to familiarise myself with the import workflow from Blender for hair but it has a few sci-fi assets from a short film I'm working on, so by extension it also has a garment that I put together in Marvelous Designer, which you can then view in Blender or in Marvelous itself if you have that downloaded. Now, if you look at the character in non-ray trace mode, you'll see why I recommend the ray traced option. I'm not sure if there's a way to eliminate this fizzle in the shadow on the face when not in ray tracing, but if I do figure this out, I'll pin a comment detailing where I went wrong. But it's possible this is just how it looks under normal conditions. It looks pretty good, um, but maybe I've gone wrong somewhere. If you play in editor in the default level upon opening, you'll find a cinematic sequence I cut together that animates the character shaking their head so that we stimulate the strand simulation. But it's also built off the same asset that I've been putting together in previous videos, so you can of course use it for any tutorial I've done previously. All of the morph targets are correctly named, so if you want to use, for example, the tutorial looking at the Unreal Live Link app, which I'll link to, then there are levels in this project that are set up ready to go with Live Link, so you can dive in and, and see what's going on with that animation. You can also, of course, use this asset with the program uh, I'm putting together, but uh, I'd suggest waiting until the latest release, which will hopefully be maybe before the end of the year. But again, it's just um, there's a lot going on in my life. Some of it's quite grim. Uh, I won't go into too much detail, but uh, it's yeah, things have been slowed down. Um, but yes, on a lighter note, I hope everyone is having a relaxing and enjoyable time as much as possible uh, under the current circumstances. But yeah, I'll leave it there and I'll see you folks in another video. Bye-bye.